All right, how's everybody doing out there today? Hopefully your day is going just fantabulous because it's about to get a little bit better as we take a look at how to analyze graphs to determine if a function has an inverse. Now to do this, we're going to need to kind of take a look at a little bit of Algebra 1 review. Check it out. Two tests. One of them is going to be called the vertical line test and that's used to determine if a graph is actually a function so that's just your algebra one days and we'd have a vertical line so here it is kind of coming into the screen on your left and if I were to slide that from left to right every time it's only going to intersect that graph in one point which means that graph would be a function we would use that in our algebra one days to determine if a graph could be a function but we're not doing that now we're analyzing inverses so what we're going to do is we're going to do this other test called the horizontal line test we're going to take a horizontal line just like this one and we're going to kind of probe that we're going to move it up and down vertically on a given function to determine if the inverse of a graph is a function because if the function itself if the graph itself passes the horizontal line test then the inverse of that graph will also be a function. So let's take a look at a, three examples here pretty quickly. What we're going to do here is analyze the following graphs to determine if the inverses will be functions. So we're going to use a horizontal line test. I'm going to call the first one a of x, the second graph b of x, and the third graph c of x. So all three of these functions are graphed for you on your screen. Now what we're going to do is just take a little handy dandy horizontal line right here and we're gonna kinda of analyze it like check it out hmm as I move vertically for a of x notice how many times this intercepts the graph of a of x only once now let's move over here to b of x check this out Ooh, look at that right there in that particular spot I've got three different places where that horizontal line intersects b of x hmm and let's move over here to C of X. Check this out again as I move this vertically. Down here at the bottom, eh, maybe I only intersect the graph once. But as I slide this further up the function, it intersects it twice. So, one of these things is not like the others. One of these things is a little bit different. So based on this, which of these three does pass the horizontal line test? If you answered A of X, good for you. The other two, they don't pass the horizontal line test, which means only one of these graphs will have an inverse function. So how do we justify this? What can we say so that our teacher is happy? And if your teacher is happy, that probably means you're going to be happy because this is pretty straightforward stuff. So here's all you have to do to justify your reasoning. So we'd write the following sentence. Since a of x passes the horizontal line test, the inverse of a of x will be a function. But b of x and c of x, they are not quite as lucky. So we could write something like this. Since b of x and c of x fail the horizontal line test, the inverses of b of x and c of x will not be functions. That's it. That's all you got to do. So get out your handy dandy little horizontal line right there and run that test through your given graph and you should be able to determine whether the inverse of that graph will be a function. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you guys again. Have a great day. Peace out.